Welcome to Mtron Training Part 2. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at a software overview using our Mtune software. In the last video, we downloaded, we installed the software onto our laptops. Now we're ready to actually open up the software and go through the various aspects so we can start off our training tutorial series. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Mtune software, doing a software overview in this training tutorial, getting comfortable with the software, where to find things, what to expect when we're working with the software. So as we move into our subsequent training videos, we'll be comfortable with editing and working within the Mtune software. First thing I want to talk about here, before we jump in, establish communication with the ECU and go through some of the navigations of the software, I want to talk about the two different uh, modes you might be in and dealing with your Mtune software. And that's going to be offline versus online mode. Now in this situation, I'm in the offline mode. We can get confirmation of this if we take a look down here at the bottom, we see that we have no connection established. Normally this would be blue, showing that ECU connection has been established. In this case, I don't have my ethernet cable plugged into my laptop. I'm sitting in the race vehicle, I have my race vehicle powered on, the engine's off, my Mtron KV8 box is powered on, but I don't have that ethernet communication established yet. So I'm in the offline mode. Now the offline mode might be something that you're working in if you're helping someone remotely, if you're reviewing data logs, uh, that they're sending you, you're opening up your calibration, their calibration file that you're, uh, you're, you're, you're tuning, and you're making your editing changes, you'll be doing this in the offline mode. You're not connected to the box, you're in the offline mode. If you're coming in uh, to say you have a race vehicle, a race vehicle comes into the pits, you download the onboard data off of the ECU, you go into the race trailer and you're reviewing the data logs, and then making subsequent changes into the calibration file, you can walk out, take that file that you've saved based on the data that came in from the onboard logging, and then upload that to the car. You don't have to be tied down to the car with the ethernet cable plug in your laptop. The offline mode is something that you'll probably be in quite often with the software, so it's important to understand the limitations of what you can and can't do. So what we can find here, I'm in the offline mode. If we look here in the icons that are able to be clicked on, we find that we have two here that we can actually click on. We can see that right here. We have open calibration file or open data log. All the other options, open ECU, live data, send Cal to the ECU, download ECU log and firmware are grayed out and I can't actually click on them because in these particular icons, these particular functions that we want to go and work with, we have to be online. We have to actually establish the communication between our laptop and the Mtron box that we're working with. So again, I am in the offline mode, which is why I have these two icons that I can actually click on. I can either take a look at the calibration or take a look at the data log. If we go here to open calibration file, it's going to take me into my folder where my calibration files are stored. We can see this is C drive, Mtron, Cal files. These are some sample files from Mtron that we can find available in here. Let's go to KV sample file. I'm going to click open. It's going to take a second here and open up the calibration file. First thing you'll notice is if we look at any of the data down here in our gauge panels or over on the side, we see no actual data present, nothing streaming, there's no values in here because we're in the offline mode. We're not actually seeing what's going on and establishing that live data communication link between our laptop and our Mtron. Now, in this situation, I'm able to take a look at everything within the file. So if we're looking through a software here, we can click on certain things, we can click on tables, we can make editing changes and updates. Once we've made those changes, we'll go up here to file and then we'll go to save or save as save the file as a particular name and then when we get online with the ECU we can actually go in and upload that to the ECU in the online mode. So we're able to make any of the editing changes or anything we need to see here. We can also go in and we can establish uh, opening up a data log and taking a look at that information as well and then we can play that back and make again our editing changes and subsequent changes here in our file and then upload that when we're in the online mode. So the offline mode is something that when you're not connected to the vehicle you can still open up the files, you can still take a look at things, you can still edit the file, save the files in a new name, and then when we get online, we can upload, upload that new file that we've saved. So that's just one of the basic things I wanted to point out because offline versus online can be a little bit confusing as you're getting started with your Mtron system. Let's go here to file. We can see if we look down here, we have a whole bunch of different options. I'm gonna sit, click here, close file, it's going to ask me if I want to save the file. I'll say no at this point. It's going to bring me back into my main menu here that I need to choose some options. If we go to open data log here, it'll prompt me up to open up a data log name. 
In this case, I don't have any data logs saved or I can't select any, so we'll just close that. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.